Emma Kuntz began creating art in 1938, when she was already 40. In her lifetime, she would go on to create more than 400 detailed and intricate, tightly worked drawings. Her use of line, her absolute precision and colour culminates in energy that radiates off the graph paper. There are around 43 of these mandala-like geometric works on show. For Kuntz, though, these weren't just art. They had a practical use, too. These drawings were a vital part of her healing rituals. Kuntz's drawings were born out of her practice of radiesthesia, using a pendulum to divinely diagnose and heal people. She would um, use her, her pendulum, which we know has a silver end and a jade end, and um, she would pose a question to that pendulum. These questions might have ranged from the political to the personal to, um, to the philosophical. And it was through the pendulum, the movement of the pendulum, which she held above the paper, the stop starts, the energy lines, um, and kind of rapid, the rapid kind of sense of movement from the pendulum. It's from that in which she would plot the coordinates almost, the kind of the points and energy kind of points of the drawing. Kuntz, who grew up in rural Switzerland, apart from being known as an extraordinary healer, also discovered another power she could harness. She's also famous for finding a type of rock called Aeon A, known for its healing qualities, which is still sold in Switzerland today. Artist Christodoulos Paniotou, who co-curated the Serpentine exhibition, ended up using this material himself as part of the show. I ended up proposing this series of benches, which have a very peculiar uh, position. Uh, in the framework of the exhibition, they are somehow interrupted before becoming sculptures. I, I, I consider them as exhibition benches. And they are made with uh, this stone that Emma Kunz uh, found uh, in Vurenlos and inscribed with specific uh, energetic power, uh, naming it uh, Aeon A. Kunz's reputation as a great artist developed posthumously. The drawing came from the pendulum, from the questions she asked, so each time it was so different, um, which I think is kind of very fascinating, especially for people who are kind of like myself, who's a curator, an art historian, who were often kind of trained to think in a particular way that uh, there's a certain progression or development in an artist's practice, or they have a particular place within a canon of art history. And of course, um, as part of the exhibition, it's our like, privilege, but also responsibility in, in presenting um, Emma Kuntz as, this, as someone who is multifaceted, is a healer, a researcher, someone very connected to nature, but someone who also made these incredible drawings and we can perceive as an artist today. Looking at Kuntz's drawings now, even in 2019, they still have a mystical aura and an energy. It's easy to see why she used them in her healing process. This retrospective shows Emma Kuntz as a miraculous artist, ahead of her time, and a true visionary. Her work can be viewed at London's Serpentine Gallery until May the 19th. Miranda Atty, TRT World, London.